I would suggest that if one listens to the story from that perspective and puts yourself in that mindset, at the end of the day, you don't have a list of instructions for what you ought to go out and do, but you have a glimpse of how God cares for you and for absolutely everyone else. You have a glimpse of what the kingdom of heaven is really like. The kingdom of heaven is the place where those needs are met without our membership or our passport being asked for when we get there. The kingdom of heaven is the place where God cares and cares and lets us know that we are loved whether we fit or not. When the lawyer asks Jesus and gives him this first answer, Jesus says to him, do this and you'll live. Love God, love your neighbor. Jesus says, do this and you will live. My invitation to you is to think about that place where you have been, where you have been at the greatest need you've ever experienced, whether it's physical, emotional, or any other place. And think back to where you found relief or help. And then think, how might God be asking you to be open to being that agent for love and care in the world around you? Not so much that you would, you know, it could be as simple as looking to the person next to you in your pew who looks a little bit unsure as to whether or not they ought to be here and letting them know that they're welcomed and they are, um, we're glad to have them a part of this community. Or it could be something else further out. It could be our folks who serve desserts on Monday night to people who are homeless out at the Roy's um, Desert Service Center. It could be something very, very simple. But when we have the eyes of what the kingdom of heaven looks like, maybe our goal should be that we see with those eyes all the time. And we trust God to invite us and empower us to be that outpost of the kingdom of God when it's needed. Amen.